Have you noticed that if you are using CarPlay or Android Auto with Google Maps or Apple Maps over here, you have this huge compass over here instead of the built-in maps. But luckily, there's something that we can do about this. There's a tool called More Incredible Bash. It's free. You can download it on GitHub and install it in your um, uh, MIP2 high unit, in your Audi, Volkswagen, Seat, Skoda, Porsche, Bentley or, or whatever. And I've used this tool um, in previous tutorials uh, where I showed how to um, install some um, uh, activation codes over here. Anyway, um, this tool can also modify the software limitation over here and should allow us to use CarPlay and built-in maps at the same time. So let's check how this works. Card with more incredible bash is already over here in SD1 and it's installed over here. If you need to know how to install it, there's a video about this somewhere over here and in the description below this video. And right now we want to enter the green menu. I have the ignition on. The phone is disconnected right now. That's why we can see maps. And to go to the green menu, we need to push forward those two switches at the same time. One and two. Keep it like that for a couple of seconds. And we should see this as long as the card with the more incredible bash is uh, in the um, uh, in the port you will see this mib option over here so let's go over here read and scroll through this warnings those warnings go to navigation go to nav active ignore this will enable dual navigation carplay android auto will work in parallel with built-in current navigation enable Unit will reboot after a couple of seconds. Okay, let's scroll down. Unit is rebooting now. And in fact, it is. MMI is off. Please wait. So we are waiting and it will it will take a couple seconds for the um, for the system to reboot. If it doesn't come up, I will press the power button in a few seconds, but... Oh, it's coming up. Let's hope that it still works. We have the splash screen. We should hear some music in a couple seconds. Okay, so maybe let's go to radio. It's still loading. Let's see if the radio is working. Um, after reboot, reboot, you need to give the system about a minute or even two minutes um, to fully load all the components. There's a lot of components over here running in the background, not only the radio and navigation, but uh, all kind of all kind of stuff responsible for the communication with the vehicle. We can see that the radio is on. Let's check if the volume works. Okay, navigation is also on, so right now Let's connect phone. Okay. We have navigation over here. And we still have navigation over here. So I believe it worked. Okay, so more details in the description below this video. Thumbs up if you like this. And see you soon.